All right, so I should be broadcasting live here. Let me just double check to make sure the stream is coming through clearly. Looks like it's starting to receive my content. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this one here. So, hey guys, uh, John here from incomesh.com and welcome to this kind of impromptu live stream. I like to do these because it gives me the ability to do kind of what I love to do, the, the unboxing videos. You know, you go to tech sites and you see people unbox their new phones and new laptops or whatever else people unbox. That's all I really care about in the life. But I am super excited to show this new feature in CartFlows to you today that I have not seen yet. Um, I'm going to unbox it with you guys and show it to you and we'll build our first funnel using this brand new feature. And hey Alex, thanks for joining the stream here. Uh, so this feature here is the two-step checkout process. Now, what is a two-step checkout? It sounds like a dance move. It is a really effective marketing tactic for increasing your conversions on your checkout page. And as we all know, or if you don't know, um, the checkout page is one of the most critical pages and is also one of the ones that has the steepest drop-off. The vast majority of people will get through your, you know, your funnel, but then the checkout page is when you're asking for their credit card, they're having to find their credit card, whip it out, do all these other things. It can be a killer for your conversions. So CartFlows is taking on the world of sales funnels using WordPress and they're stacking on top of WooCommerce to power all of their transactions. They they're, have a very smart business model, honestly. I'm, I'm really impressed. They've got a ways to go, I think, before they can take on the click funnels of the world, but they're developing at a rapid pace. And this is one of those key features. So before I go and install it, let me show you an example of a working two-step checkout, and then we can go ahead and talk about some of the benefits of it. So here we are, you know, if you want to learn about marketing, go to clickfunnels.com. They're very good at it. They know what they're doing. Uh, and this is their, let, let's go to their homepage here. So let me just go straight to funnels.com. And they have their sales page where, you know, oh, it looks like it looks like it's already here. Let me, sorry. So when you're trying to sign up for an account. Oh, goodness gracious, of course. Let me head to an incognito window, clickfunnels.com. I wanted to make sure they did have a two-step checkout before I went live. So, so this is their homepage. And as you scroll down and you're ready to start your trial, find any of their checkout boxes, and you head here to the checkout page, right? But the checkout page only asks, it looks like an opt-in form, right? Like it asks you to create your account. It looks like everything is free. It tells you it's a 14-day free trial. You know, everything here is screams free. And then you say, so let's go through the process here. I'll put in my name, johnincomemesh.com, and a password. And when I say get started, oh, well, look at that, step two of two. So kind of they wabam you, now you're here on the billing information. So um, what are some of the benefits of doing this versus what is publicly available in um, CartFlows right now is everything is on one page. You can remove some of these uh, pieces of information, like for example, ClickFunnels is asking for your city name, your state and province, zip code, country. Uh, do they need that? I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't think so. But it could be because they want to mail you things along the way. Um, you know, the point of the matter being, by putting in your information in two steps, one being your contact information and two being your billing information, that does a couple of things. One is it makes you make a micro commitment. You've already started to fill out the information, so you're more likely to continue filling out the information even on step two and any other steps that might be there. So you've already started to say yes. That's one big piece. The second big piece is obviously, this is a lot of fields. This is a lot of information to fill out, and if you can uh, learn from like Typekit or Typeform, I think it's called. It's that survey software that's so popular and is going, it's really, really good. What makes it so good is that they ask you one question at a time and you're filling out the survey one question at a time. So you're never overwhelmed. You're never looking there at like a form of 10, 12 different fields and like, oh my gosh, I have to go through this whole thing. So it can break up that, you know, information entry as well. The third and probably most powerful feature of this um, setup is that if you put step one in and you abandon on step two, which is where you're probably going to abandon when you're actually putting in the information of your credit card and getting the sales funnels and bumps and all those other things, well, ClickFunnels has your information now. They have your email address, and so they can continue to do abandoned cart uh, marketing promotions to you to try to get you to complete your purchase. So uh, that is definitely a huge piece of their entire strategy. They're essentially getting an opt-in uh, from you, uh, you know, GDPR, 
you need to figure out if that is actually allowing them allowing you to market to them uh, but that's you know that's the legal side of things but essentially they, they have your information and they can try to get you to finish your checkout try to get you into something else and if they you know fail to do that they can at least send you down a different path to try to get you into maybe one of their books or other offers other funnels they have to lead you into their entire their main funnel okay so enough about that that's several benefits of doing a two-step checkout and cartflix has recently released like today or yesterday an update for their members which i am one uh, of a beta of their free and a beta of their pro feature, which is going to include those two-step checkouts. So I've already downloaded them, but I have not installed them, I've not played with them. So this is going to be us learning together here, but this is what I like to do on this channel. I'm gonna go here into one of my play websites that has WooCommerce installed, and let's go ahead and add some new plugins and take these guys a for a spin. And leave in the chat, if there's anything in particular you want me to take a look at with this uh, feature, happy to do so. I'm going to go here to upload my plugins and let me find the ones I just installed. Cartflow's beta. Let's first grab the free beta. So we'll install this. Go ahead and close this tab. Activate the free version and I should also be required to upload the pro version. Okay, so plugins add new. Disregard all the notifications. Like I said, this is one of my several sandboxes I like to play in. And we'll go to cart flows and I'll go to the pro beta and I'll upload this guy and I'll install him. I am very excited to see this. And also you get to see me thinking on my feet to see how quickly I can figure out how to uh, make this all work. All right, so we have both plugins installed now. Now let's head into our cart flows. First, let's check out the settings and see if there's anything changed in the settings area. Looks like it's all the same. We'll head now to our cart flows flows and let's make a new flow. And first of all, let's see, do they add any templates? There's no, no new templates added. So let's just pull in uh, one of these templates. Oh, I need to activate my license. So I'll just import in a free evergreen product template and we'll take a look at the checkout settings and what we can do there. It'll take just a second because it's uploading um, or downloading all the imagery, all the pages, all the content, even the meta descriptions along the way. And then it's putting it into this flow here. Okay, so this is gonna be two step. Let's go ahead and um, We'll enable a uh, test mode for now. That simply allows it to be easy to test and see how things are working, even if you don't have any products assigned to it. Now let's go straight into the checkout page here. And first we'll, we'll view the checkout page to see what it's going to look like when we're all said and done here. Okay, so by default, you have all this information, the products, um, checkout information, everything here. Like, you know, example, it takes you a while before you're even putting your email address in by default. So that is going to be a painful thing for your conversions. This is where two-step checkouts are really going to be helpful. Let's see how it works. So we scroll down here. I'm going to check out, I'm going to check out the checkout design. And I'm going to enable advanced options to see if where they're hiding. The checkout fields. Logo, order bump, select product, short codes. Oof. Well, let's see here. Check out skin. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. I was like, don't go live and then have it not work at all. Okay. So under the checkout design, the checkout skin, you have one column, two column, or two step now. So now that when you select two step, let's go ahead and hit update. That's actually, I noticed that opened up another accordion or another little um, menu item over here. We'll check out now. So now we have enable checkout note, get your free copy of cart flows in just a few steps, text color. We'll leave everything default by now. So step one is going to be shipping, payment of your order. Interesting offer button title. Okay, well, let's leave it by default first and let's check out how this changes the entire experience. We should be able to simply hit the refresh button here. Let's 
refresh one more time. Oh, oh, very nice. Okay, so features you love, all, all of a sudden, this looks very similar to um, the ClickFunnels page we saw. All the shipping information, this is no good. This is more information than we need. I really want this to be a lead capture um, piece. And then step two is the payment of our order. So this is looking pretty cool. You know, as I'm looking through this, I would like to ideally hide the fact there is a second step because you know, if, if all they think they need to do is put their information in, that might be even better. But let's go ahead and do a couple things here. Let's make this like I would wanna use it in real life where I wanna remove a lot of these fields, just leave what I want and what I will need to be able to retarget them. And then we'll go into step two. So here we are in this step, the checkout step. I wanna to go to the checkout fields and enable the custom field editor. So let's say first name, last name, that's fine. But I wanna hide company, country, street, apartment, town, state, zip, and phone. So I'll hide all that. And I also want, well, you don't need to do this, but I'll move this up here. So first name, last name, email. And then we will disable ship to different address and we'll disable the additional field. Let's update this and see how this looks now. What do you guys think so far? Is this a pretty cool feature? I think this is gonna be a big one when they get all the integrations with email marketing uh, worked in. So we'll go ahead and refresh. All right, so this looks much better, right? So now you can have your product, your box shot over here, which we might play with in just a second. And then we have the payment information here because it's a much smaller space, a much smaller area to work with. Uh, your conversion should be better. So I'll go put my email address in. And you know what's also interesting? I'm logged in right now, so I wanna see how this looks on an incognito window. That will allow me to understand how the login piece all works together. Okay, so due to a plugin that I am using, it also gives me the subscribe checkbox here. Um, so that, that's kind of nice, that shows up nicely here. What I don't see is the login functionality. So let's go ahead and check this out. And if I click through here, now I have the ability to um, make the purchase. Would li I would like to see this kind of follow along with, you know, maybe just even just move that little triangle down here to show that we're on step two. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in a fake credit card information. So, you know, I'm not gonna process this yet. What I wanna do is go back to the home page and confirm that I'm not logged in on this particular browser session. So if I go to shop, okay, so I'm not logged in. I'm gonna head back over here to the checkout page and complete the checkout process. And this is great because that, that loading and that spinning can be kind of a, an annoyance. And by hiding that upon initial page load, that's going to be very good for user experience. Let's go ahead and place this order. I, I agree, Alex. This looks like a very good feature. Um, I think this will definitely help. I just got my notification of the order going through. So everything appears to be working. And there's my thank you page. Again, this was just a template. Uh, but this is everything here. So that's pretty awesome. What I want to do real fast is show you some of the things you should be able to do now that we have this much cleaner design with your checkout flow. What I want to do is edit this. This was built in Elementor, so I'll edit it with Elementor. And I want to put like a little box shot of the product right next to the checkout field. And hopefully that should make it you know, very obvious what you can do with this new setup and this new functionality. Uh, got it, okay. So here's our checkout flow here. It's just a short code. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an intersection here and I'll put the short code on the right and I wanna put a image on the left. And I don't know if on this one I have like a nice box shot, but maybe we do. I really wanna get something specific here. So let's upload a quick file here. I'll find what I'm looking for. Well, this'll work. Let's use our imagination that this is a picture of a product, but right now it's just a featured image from one of my recent blog posts, but you can say you're gonna get this now and we'll just add some text. 
heading text here. Complete your checkout and get your goodies. Use better copywriting than I am, but you know, that's okay. All right, so let's do this and we'll hit update. And now we'll preview these changes. So now this is a much better checkout experience. And let, let me actually, let me view the page. I don't want to do a preview. Okay, so now you have your, your goodies, your guarantee, features you'll love. Uh, and this is where you'd have like a box shot of your product. You have information capture. Again, you can rename these. I saw the tabs where you can rename. Uh, shipping could be like create your account and you can put your information here to create the account. And then let's just uh, use a different email address. Um, and then here you can check out. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so I'm gonna go here on full screen. I think this is a big feature. I think this is one that, especially for being a beta, like I don't know if it's really, if I'm supposed to show this like this, but I, I, I'm, I have a lot of faith and confidence in the Brainstorm Force team and in Adam who's putting this plugin together. I think they're pulling it off extremely well. And this was me first time I've ever used this. As you guys saw, I was kind of bouncing around the menus. Um, they're developing well. So if you want to get in with cart flows, you can always use my affiliate link, incomemesh.com slash cart flows. That's in the description of this live stream. I'll also link afterwards to my full review and I'll add some content about this into that review. But if you're looking at bringing on some sales funnel work into your website, I recommend this tool. Um, whether it's fully there right now, it is depending on your needs. If you have very basic, you want to sell courses and you don't want to use a Teachable, you don't want to use a Thinkific or one of those types of platforms, you want to have it on your own website, which I think has a lot of benefits, uh, you need a good way to sell it, right? And it makes little sense to keep all of your content on your website and then go externally to a ClickFunnels to sell it. So I think Cardflows is really going to fill an awesome need. If you have clients, this is going to be big for them as well. It's something you can sell as a, like this is the only real way to do this on WordPress. And if you have an e-commerce store with hundreds of products, you're not going to want to go to external, you know, Thrivecart or something like that and try to sell externally and then bring them back and fulfill and all that. So this is going to be big. Um, right now it's still in beta. So this was the first look you're going to see of this feature. But I think this is going to be one of those where it's like, okay, you're running WooCommerce. You probably should be running Cartflows as well. If not, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Now, the, pl the plugin itself, let's head over to cartflows.com and go to their homepage. The plugin itself is not cheap. I, I will go and tell you. It's a $300 per year, so less than a dollar per day, right? That's what people always say when they're trying to sell things. So it's, it's almost $300 a year. But you do get, I believe it's up to 30, um, 30 websites that you can install it on. That's a lot. And if you were to install this for one client and do one funnel for them using a template and a, maybe a, an hour or two of work, you could easily charge them $300 um, for the work and then a maintenance plan to make revenue in perpetuity. So it's definitely a business investment for this. If like, I would recommend you check it out. 30 day money back guarantee. Um, that was the new feature of their uh, two step checkout. So go ahead and leave a comment below of the video and let me know if you think about this. If you think there's another tool that can do it better, let me know. I'd like to make sure I give you guys honest recommendations. And right now, um, I think Cartflows is it. If you're a WordPress guy, Cartflows is the way you want to sell your products. And again, I'm John from Incomesh.com. I'll see you guys in a future live stream or in a future video. Take care.